All right, one more minute. Oh. Good afternoon, everyone. Another day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and continually praise God in this day. Amen. I have a word for you, a continuation from yesterday, and we are going to get into that right in a few minutes. Uh, call a friend, invite someone to tune in. And once again, you see, see me with my sunglasses on, the shades. Amen. And I'm, I still have a little style on my, on my eyes trying to be stubborn, but I will win over it. It must go. But the, the sunglasses help me a whole lot when I'm when I'm reading and then got light in my face as well. So uh, not trying to impress nobody. I just thank God that he allowed me to have an option so I can still minister the word of the Lord and be a little comf be comforted. Amen. So let's have a word of prayer and let's get right into this message for today. And I believe it's going to be a blessing for you. It's going to touch your hearts. Amen. So let's get ready. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you and I praise you. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to feed your lambs and sheep with knowledge and understanding of the word of God. And Father, I give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise for everything that's going to be done and everything that's going to be said. And your will be done today. I render the forces of, of, of darkness helpless and operable now. And Lord, I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the work, uh, power in Jesus' name belong to you. Thank you for this day that you have made and allow me to be in it. So Lord, we praise you for the word of the God for will fall on the good ground of the hearts of these, the children of the Most High God. Amen. Oh, praise God. All right, get your Bible just for a moment. Let me read a scripture to you. I'm going to 2 Corinthians 4.13. Hope not to be before you too long, but just to leave a little something in your spirit that will help you uh, to get through your day. Praise be to God. Thank you, Lord. We need the word of God to help us to get through each and every day of our lives. In the book of 2 Corinthians 4.13, he said, Yet we have the same spirit of faith as he had who wrote. I have believed, and therefore have I spoken. We too believe, and therefore we speak. So I'm going to still use this subject today, the unconquerable uh, word of God, the unconquerable word of God. Amen. Remember yesterday I told you many are doing it, but not, uh, very few are saying the word. You got to say, you got to say, you got to say the word. Whatever you call and finish is finished. Amen. Just giving you a little synopsis from yes, uh, yesterday afternoon. Jesus said it is finished. And when Jesus said it was finished, it was finished. But he released it out of his mouth. And he got the results that he released out of his mouth by the power of words. So whatever you are calling finished, it's finished. Amen. Jesus said it's finished, it's finished. And once you say it's finished, all you have to do is wait to see the finished work manifest. Whatever you say, all you have to do now is wait and see the manifestation of what you've been saying. Uh, pardon me. Every time you say there is no money, let's, let's deal with that. Look at that. Every time you say, I don't have the money, you have canceled your account with the bank of heaven. Every time you say you don't have no money, you have canceled your account with the bank of heaven. You have closed the account. You, 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 you closed the doors to the bank. Amen. Is there anywhere in the Bible that a hundredfold more shall be given unto you when you say there is no money? How can you get the hundredfold if you're saying there is no money? I have no money. I don't got no finances. I can't pay my bills. Praise be to God. Uh, there, nowhere in the Bible does it say uh, 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 that a hundredfold more shall be given unto you when you say there is no money. If you say there is no money, you aren't going to have any money. You're not going to be able to pay your bills. You're not going to be able to go where you want to go because you say you say that. Nobody else said it. You the one said it. You the one counseled your account in heaven. 
You will never see signs and wonders in your finances, in your family, in your business, in your profession until you start making sounds that produce signs and wonders. Make sounds that produce sounds and wonders. And the, the way you make the uh, sounds that produce, produce sounds and wonders, you got to make sounds with the word of God being released out of your mouth. And you shall see what you say. Many are looking for options. A lot of people looking for different options uh, than the word of God. You'd be surprised how many people sit in church and they're looking for options other than the word of God. There is no other option for us as believers. Praise be to God. In Psalms 103 and, and 20 from the Amplified, watch this, watch this. Y'all follow me now. Bless, affectionate, gratefully praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his commandments, hearken to the voice of his word. It's time to start speaking forth. The prince of the power of the ear uh, uh, must hear you. Let the devil hear what you're saying. Let him know that you know that you know what you're saying out of your mouth. Praise be to God. He said, the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones, do his command. The angels do the word of God. They respond to the word of God. The scriptures say they hearken to the voice of his word. When you put a voice behind God's word, the word of God to them is just like God speaking to them. And they move by that word. They don't just move by any word, but they move by the word of God. For when you put a voice to the word of God behind the word of God, the angels, amen, you put them on assignment. So it's time to start speaking for the, the prince of the power of the air must hear you. The angels of heaven must hear you. Praise God. God is also waiting to hear you. Everyone and everything in heaven, along with the Holy Ghost, is waiting to back you up. When they hear you, they're waiting on you. They're waiting to back you up. Everything in heaven, the angels, God, the Holy Spirit, everything is going to back you up when you release the word of God. Let's see what happens when you speak. There's a threefold anointing that causes things to happen when you speak. Satan bows. Luke 21, 15 says, for I will give you a mouth. What did God say? I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries should not be able to gainsay nor resist. Listen at this church. Listen, 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 listen. You don't even have to go and borrow a mouth. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. He said, I've given you a mouth. You don't have to go borrow a mouth. You have one connected to you ever since you were in your mother's womb. Now, what are you releasing out of it? No devil can stop the effect of your words. The word of God that's coming out of your mouth. The devil can't stop those words. Because they're like fire. They're fire. They're like a hammer. If he get in the way of the word, the word, the word will burn him. We'll beat him up. Not with what Jesus watches in Luke 10, 19. Luke 10, 19. Oh, you follow me thus far. Oh, man, we, we, we're going to have a time, a good time. We're going to win all the time. I love winning. I don't know about y'all. He said, no, listen to this. Luke 10, 19. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to trade upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That power he has given you is in your mouth. I'm going to say it again. That power that God has given you is in your mouth. Life and death is where at? In the mouth, in the power of the tongue. The tongue, and where is the tongue? Where is the tongue? In your mouth. Amen. Praise be to God. The power, life and death is in the power of your tongue. Where's your tongue? In your mouth. So you have to be careful what you're releasing out of your mouth with your tongue. The Bible said that tongue, listen, somebody call it a pink, pink tornado. Amen. It can do you good or it can do you bad. Praise be to God. Releasing the word. The word that comes from your mouth, make sure they come from the word of God, which carries the power of God. The word of God carries the power of God. What you say under any circumstance is what's going to hold you up or cause you to fall and fail. Whatever you say under circumstances is what's going to either hold you up or cause you to fail. Praise be to God. I don't know about you. You don't want to fail. You want to win. So be careful what you say out of your mouth because you can destroy your life with your own mouth. Isn't that something? 
your own mouth. So what you say under any circumstance is what's going to hold up, hold you up, or cause you to fall and fail. Be careful what you say. For instance, no matter what and how you feel in your body, don't say I'm sick. Don't say I'm sick. Don't say I'm sick because you what you say is what you get. Even though you may be feeling bad in your body, but don't say I'm sick. I'm working on a healing. I'm getting delivered from this disease. I'm getting delivered from this sickness. I'm getting delivered from this pain. I'm getting delivered from this, this discomfort in my body. But never say I'm sick. Because if you say I'm sick, that's what you're going to be. You're going to be sick. Watch what you say out of your mouth. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Amen. Speak life over your life. Speak life out of your mouth. No matter what's going on, say the word of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Satan needs doubtful words to operate in your affairs. Satan cannot operate in your affairs without words. He needs doubtful words to operate in your affairs. Example. Look, watch this. This is a good example. I'm going to give you this. This is a good example. What did I just say? Satan needs doubtful words to operate in your life of fears. Look at this. Let me give you an example. The children of Israel, what did they do? They say, we be not able. Gave the enemy op the, the right words to operate in their lives and their lives. They could not enter the promised land because they said, we be not able. They canceled their, 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 um, their livelihood in the promised land that flowed with milk and honey. They canceled it out by what they said. We be not able. Praise be to God. So, so no matter what, never say nothing negative. Praise be to God. It regards. So Satan needs doubtful words to operate in your affairs. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He can't operate in your affairs without your negativity. Praise be to God. But as long as you're speaking the word of faith, God's word, you will always have the advantage over the powers of darkness when you speak in the word of the Lord. The angels act on what you say. Oh, yes, they do. Ecclesiastes 5 and 6. Let me read that quick for you. Suffer not that. Look, look, listen to this. Listen to this, y'all. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Be careful what you say out your mouth. Your mouth can cause you to sin against God, sin against the word of God, saying the wrong thing. Be careful what you release out of your mouth. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thine hands? Listen at this, church. Listen, listen, listen. Angels stand at attention to carry out exactly what you say. Exactly what you say. The, the demonic angels... Demonic powers are standing at attention to carry out what you say. And God's holy angels are standing at attention to carry out what you say. Are you speaking words of life? Are you speaking words of light? Are you speaking words of darkness? Praise be to God. You can't turn around and say, I was only joking. Let me show you something about joking. You have to be careful now. Listen at me careful. You have to be careful with what you even joke about. The devil will take your jokes and use them against you because they came out of your mouth. Whether you look at it as a joke or not, he don't look at it as a being a joke. He look at it as a word that he can use against you to conquer you, to overthrow you, to do you do you bad and, and take away all your joy and your peace. He don't care about no jokes. What you saying out of your mouth is not a joke to the devil. What you saying out your mouth, he'll take that thing that you think is a joke and work that same joke that you laughed at against you and have you crying later on. Oh, that is heavy, wasn't it? So God backs what you say, and so does the devil. Let me say that again. God black backs what you say, and so does the devil. Why? Because he abides faith and cannot deny himself. God cannot deny his word. He's got to back his word up. He's got to stand by his word. Praise is wonderful name. If you say, thus say the Lord, he will say, truly, say, uh, uh, truly, I said so. Truly, I say so. You say, I thus say the Lord. Use the word of God. And he'll say, truly, I didn't say that. By his stripes, I'm here. Thus say the Lord. By his stripes, I'm here. Yes, truly, he'll tell you, I said so. And when I say, who, when God say, who can change what he said? 
God, let God be true and every man be a liar. When God says something, who can turn it around? Who can change it? Who can stop it from happening? Who can stop the manifestation of the promises of God? Only you with your mouth. Thank you, Lord. When he watches, when he stretched forth his hand, who can turn it back? Remember, he had Moses stretch forth the rod. God was behind the rod. Nobody, even Pharaoh couldn't turn it back. And they went across on dry lands. Nobody could turn it back. And then when God got ready to drown the Egyptians, he let them get in the midst of that, that sea and pull that water over them and drown the whole military force of Pharaoh. Thank you, Lord. I say, thank you, Lord. The words you speak affects three fears in its operation. That works on those that are affected by your words. Number one, Satan surrenders when you speak the word of God. Number two, angels go into operation to carry out your orders when you speak the word of God. And God backs up your words to conform them when you speak his word. He gets involved with your situation. He gets involved with your life. Watch Jeremiah 1 12 from the Amplified. <laughs> Amplified. Let me read that. Then say the Lord to me, you have seen well, for I'm alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. Let Listen to this. God keeps an eye on what he has written in that Bible. He watch over the word he said. He watch over what you say, not your mouth, when you say what he said. And he's watching it to make sure he will perform it. God loves to perform on our behalf. God loves performing for his children. Praise his wonderful name. God is performing for some of you right now. Praise the name of God. The scripture even tells, say, let him that is weak. Let him that is weak. Watch this now. If you want to be strong, if you feel like you're getting a little weak, watch what he say. Let the weak, let him that is weak say I'm strong. Don't say I'm weak. Don't say I'm caving in. Don't say I can't take no more. Let your weak, let the weak say I'm strong. And when you say you're strong, you're going to be strong. It may not happen that same moment, but it did happen at that same moment because you let it out your mouth. But now your body and your members, your organs, your muscles got to line up with it now. So that might take a few moments. But let the weak say, say, say. Let the weak say. You, you can be weak and you don't say nothing. You can be weak in your area of your life in, uh, uh, with God. You can be weak in some area of your life. And you got to start saying, I am strong. I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Praise the name of Jesus. Watch this. Then he becomes strong strong when you let the weak say i'm strong then you become strong when you say you're strong let the scripture also say let watch this then satan who's attacked in your health gives up and you become whole then angels come to minister to you and god goes ahead to confirm his word god will confirm his word i'm, I'm he promised you that i'm promise you that so you can't have anything less than victory thank you lord jesus that's why god's formula for success and prosperity says this book, notice what he said, the formula for good success and prosperity is in this book. That's in Joshua 1 and 8. Say, this book of the Lord should not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein. Let keep saying the words you find on prosperity out of your mouth. Keep releasing it out of your mouth. Keep saying it out of your mouth. Then you, listen to what he said. He said, you make your own way prosperous. And you make your own way successful by what you're saying out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. Praise God Almighty. The word is near thee, he says. Even in thy mouth. That's Romans 10 and 8. Your mouth is the compass of your life. What you say today is what you'll see tomorrow. Your mouth is the compass of your life. The words of your mouth. And the meditation of your heart is what set you on the right coast to fulfill your destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Good, good success lies in your mouth more than anywhere, any place else. Good success lies in your mouth more than any place else. So be careful what you say. Uh, this, this is this is what destroy most people right here. This and that mind. This and that mind. Be careful what you say out your mouth. It can, it can block your blessings. It can block your deliverance. It can block what you believe in God for. Praise be to God. 
Your mouth is what gives expression to your life. Are y'all here? And with a creative force, your heart desires to come alive. What's this? Proverbs 18, 21 has this to say. Death and life are where at? In the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The amount of good life you enjoy is determined by how much good word you speak. Let me say that again. The amount of good life you enjoy is determined by how much good word you speak. And all the word of God is good. When you speak death, it comes. You speak life, it comes. More abundantly, though, choose which one you want. <laughs> you got to make a choice. Do you want life more abundantly? Or do you speak in life? I meant death over your life. Praise be to God. I pray that you've heard something that helped you today doing this uh, 15, 20 minute message. I pray that it fell on the good ground of your hearts. Amen. And I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. Praise be to God. You guys keep me in your prayers. That little, that little bump get off my eye. Amen. And next, <laughs> hopefully in a couple more days, I can just take the glasses off. Amen. And uh, you, can, you can look at my handsome face. Praise be to God. All right. I love you guys so much. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in today. You don't know how much you bless my heart just by tuning in to listen at the teaching of the word of God. It's, it's going to benefit you. But God put a guard around this. Around that. Put a guard. Put a guard around that mouth. And watch what you see out of your own mouth. It can either deliver you. It can either bless you. Or your mouth can even curse you. I want you to know. Until the next time. Jesus loves you. I love you. May God richly bless you is my prayer. And don't you ever forget this. Don't you call it the way you see it. Call it the way you want it to be. Much love. Peace.